My name is Vera and I'm a knitter and a musician. I live in Sydney in Australia and I've been knitting since I was a child. I learned from my mom and I mostly knit my own designs. I Someone asked me when was the last time I knitted something from a pattern and I had to think really hard and it was a pattern by Nora Gorn um, and must have been about 10 years ago. She is my star favorite designer. I have most of her books. I have saved tens of photos of her designs and she's just big inspiration for me um, but yes I don't I don't need from patterns I look at photos I look at uh, knitwear from all sorts of sources and I just go like oh uh, this could be done like this or oh, this could be done like that and usually it starts with yarn so today I would like to talk to you about this cardigan it is called the matchstick cardigan and that comes from this little stitch pattern that resembles a matchstick. Um, this particular design started uh, as a, an idea I got from an old German magazine. I think it was Verena, a Verena from like the 90s, a long time ago. I know it feels like yesterday but 90s was a long time ago and I really like this stitch I thought this is so simple but it's actually quite fun and I got yarn from Lovecrafts we're talking 2014 or 2015 a while ago so I, I bought this beautiful yarn this yellow yarn from Lovecrafts it was the Milamia range and um, it's called, I think, ochre, the color. I still think they have it. It's a worsted weight, so it's like a 10 ply, um, but not a very thick one. So you could do it in a chunky 8 ply, let's say. Um, so I started. You know, I did my swatch. I really loved the um, stitch. It was fun, excellent. Then the first hiccup was I was knitting it on the train. And um, I think I was working on a sleeve. And, you know, you knit, you knit. And then all of a sudden, it's my stop, so I have to get off the train. So I got off and I left the sleeve with needles and everything where I was sitting. I just forgot to take it with me. And unfortunately, I couldn't get it back. I called Lost and Found. No one had turned in my beautiful sleeve in a ochre color. <laughs> and yes, of course I could make another sleeve, but I didn't have enough yarn. So I had to order more yarn. Um, that was not fun, but luckily this Milamia range is very good in that the colors are um, you can trust the dye lots like they it's always the same yellow so I ordered more yarn I knitted it again I finished the front everything it was done except this bit was in the same direction as this bit so it was all sewn up it was all finished and I thought gee this is boring not fun at all it's all in the same direction something has to happen so what I did I decided that one of the fronts should go the opposite way so you know unpick 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 wash the yarn start again and this ended up quite fun I really thought it was great except um, the original version had set in sleeves now, setting sleeves are great for many yarns, but not for thicker yarns. I find it becomes a bit bulky, like the seams are bulky. At the time, I didn't know you could pick up 
stitches and continue from there, which is makes it less bulky. Um, so the original version, I'll, I might try and find a photo and put it here for you. <laughs> um, was very nice, but it had the setting sleeves. I wasn't so keen on that, but I thought this is a great idea. This has to be done again. And 2021, uh, we're all in lockdown. Everything's boring. So I think I should start writing these patterns. I started with a, a cowl, like a shawl, rectangular shawl. It's called the wattle, wattle wrap, wattle wrap, that's the one. Um, and then I did crazy about cables, which is also a fun project. And then I remember this one and I was like, I like that cardigan. I think people would like it. So I heard that it's best if you collaborate with a company and get yarn from them because then they get a bit of exposure and then they give you a little bit of exposure. So I wrote to this company called Ula and Leah uh, because I read about how they um, get their yarn in Nepal or is it in Mongolia? No, I think they're in Mongolia. Okay, so they work with people in Mongolia who have yaks and camels. So we're talking herders that live a nomadic lifestyle. Um, and they collaborate and get them the best price for their yarn. So this Ula and Leah are a great company. It's basically a one man show. John is running the whole thing. Um, they don't have huge amounts of yarn, like a huge range, but they're all beautiful. So I wrote to John and I said, listen, I have this idea for a cardigan. Uh, I sent him a photo and I said, what do you think? Do you, do you like it? And he was, he was interested. I couldn't believe it. He was like, yeah, yeah, I think our yarn would work very well. So, you know, how much do you need? And I was like, oh my God, he's going to send me yarn. Um, yuck. So what you see on me is the yak from Ula and Leah. It is also a worsted weight yarn. Um, and this is the natural color. This, this gray, I think they call it platinum, is the natural color of the yarn. It's 100% yak. It is very warm. It's, it's my coziest, loveliest cardigan. Um, it's warmer than merino. It doesn't peel at all. Um, I love it. It's just so nice. Um, and I became obsessed with yaks and things. <laughs> yaks, they're, they're great animals. Um, so I wrote a little article which was published in Yarnology. I don't know if you heard of Yarnology, but look it up. It's a beautiful magazine about fiber and um, crafts done with fiber. So. I wrote this article about three producers of that use yak and that collaborate with these nomadic herders to produce yarn. Um, yeah, so coming back to um, Mastic Cardigan, um, yarn arrived. Um, they send it to you with the spinning oil still in it. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's it's actually quite oily and much thinner than it should be because it has all this oil in it and you have to wash it before knitting with it. I mean, you could knit with it and then wash the pieces that you've knitted, but it's not fun because the yarn, honestly, it's a little bit disgusting. It smells of oils and it's sticky and um, much better to wash it. And Ula and Leah recommend washing it in um uh, dishwashing detergent. So, you know, you make a big sink full of water with detergent. I was a bit like, oh my God, really? Is that what you have to do? No, no mercy. No, well, very warm water with this the detergent, you know, your fairy liquid or whatever you use where you are and you wash your skins and they bloom so beautifully. They're like soft, and the water is really dirty and cloudy and all the stuff gets out and you get this beautiful yarn that is just a dream to work with. So I used that yarn um, and I wrote the pattern and 
here it is you can see how on the side ooh, can, yeah so on this side it the front is actually shorter than the back so you have a nice little detail here and also the front is supposed to be shorter than the other front there um there's some sh short rows in here to make the shoulder uh actually it's not short rows i think this one is not short rows i think it's just bind off gradually so you get a nice slope in the shoulder and then you pick up your sleeve stitches they're done flat yeah so you work it flat and then when you feel like you've had enough length you bind off and these little collar details i really like this finish i think i've used it now for <laughs> three or four or five or uh, who counts um colors it just doesn't look um too i don't know too disciplined it's got a little bit of personality it's going like curled in here it doesn't curl as much so yeah i really like it yeah so this is matchstick um what can i say what else can i say a friend of mine really 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 loved it and she said please if you're can you knit me one and i was like oh my god i've had enough of these questions and i did because she's really cute she's one of my favorite friends and i knitted it in malabrigo rios uh, they also have an yellow uh frank ochre i think it's called it works perfectly so malabrigo rios is also 10 ply worsted weight uh, it works beautifully for matchstick probably need a little bit less than uh, merino or yak um, and yeah and they have so many colors oh rios rios you can never have enough rios i have still some ochre yarn and not ochre yarn ochre color and some red i think the cherry color it's beautiful beautiful so yeah this is this is it all i had for you today um i was just wanting to tell you about my matchstick cardigan it's in ravelry so if you go on ravelry i have um uh, I think 10 or even more 12 designs for sale now um, under Vera Marku. So Vera and then M A R C U. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'm there under Vera Loves Knitting. Because I do. <laughs> like, duh. I love knitting. And um, yes, that's it for today. And thanks for watching. And I will see you another time.